This is the Boger VG360 home security camera. It's a 360 because this rotates almost 360 degrees. I don't like the way Amazon delivered this box. Hope everything's okay in the box. This is a pretty good brand. Boger is a sub-brand of 8-man. And I have some of their cameras too, which are really well. So I want to see what this one's going to be like. So on the back here, you basically you can see the picture of it. IP66 weatherproof. It rotates, it pans, it scans. It's got motion detection, sends you notifications. So in the box, you got the manual. A couple little thank you cards, it looks like. Get extended warranty. This is in multiple languages, so don't get scared by how thick this book looks. It's really not that hard. I'll tell you how to set it up, what the icons do in the app. You do have to download the app. If you have the Smart Life app, that works too. But they recommend that to you Smart app and you do have to register. You just give them your email address and you gotta verify it and then it brings you up and has to add a device. So they give you a, a wall plug, some mounting hardware, the antenna for the Wi-Fi. This camera's a lot smaller than I thought it'd be. I guess I was thinking it'd be much bigger. I guess things have gotten better and smaller and nicer now. Give you a little screwdriver. Not sure, I guess that's for the... thought maybe there'd be a spot on here for the SD card. I'm sure there is somewhere. Yeah, I did find the SD card slots underneath here. You do have to move the camera. Take this little cap off the top of it. So that's where your SD card goes. The book says this little hole over here is the reset button, but it's not. It's this little button in front of the SD. So you push and hold that. You can hear it making noise and beeping. And that's what you're going to need to do before you connect this. So once you do that and it starts back up, you can go into your app. And you go into security and sensors. Smart camera, and read what it says. It says make sure the indicator is flashing quickly or prompt tone is heard, which is what you just heard. Make sure you're connected to your Wi-Fi and it's the 2.4 and not your five. Well, I guess you gotta put your password in here. Then you want to scan this barcode that's on your camera or on your phone with the camera. You hear it beep. It says I heard a beep. And then you let it look for, and try to find it. If it finds it, it should add it to the app. It should be up and running. Good to go. Pretty simple. It helps if you read the manual. And there you go. Add it successfully. Now you can call it whatever you want it, rename it. You're done. If you want to test it. And there you go. It's upside down. And there's my patio, my back door. You can see how good that video is. And that's looking through a screen pretty good so you should be able to move this see how this is moving when you move it on the on your phone so it goes up and down side to side it's pretty smooth actually I like it and then you got your different directions here you can do it this way if you want to do it that way or you can do it on the screen you can speak record send an alarm take screenshots Play back whatever video you got. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Then you just mount it on the wall with the three screws. Plug it in. Good to go.